Well, here is Larry Dixon. And you look through the chart. Down there, 50 wins. For Nitro drivers, that's a pretty good company there, huh, Paul? John Force, Kenny Bernstein, Tony Schumacher, and Joe Amato. Well deserved, though, for Larry Dixon. He is a great race car driver. Yeah, a little five-person club. Not bad to belong to that. Steve Faria is on the other side. He only raced at the Winter Nationals this year. He started 16th and lost in the four, first round to Corey Mack. Whoa! Whoa! That could have been a moment. Got a fire going on. Ferreira. Larry Dixon takes the win light. But there was a moment there where you had to wonder. Yeah, it was close when we saw Gary starting to spin the tires, or Larry starting to spin the tires. We thought, uh-oh, he might be in a little bit of trouble because Steve Ferreira was hooked up and running pretty good early in the run before that cylinder went out. Right after the cylinder went out on Steve's car, it started pushing out stuff and then uh, probably pushed out a head gas. He caught it on fire. If you take another look at wheels up, nice launch there, good numbers to this point, and then right, right about here, you're going to see that cylinder go out, and then right shortly after that, starts pushing stuff out of the back of that engine, and then pretty much catches it on fire, and that's what cost him the round. Had that not happened, boy, it might have been a different story for Larry Dixon. Yeah, Dixon was all over the place. Here's the Lucas Oil photo finish cam as Dixon comes across the line. Even with the fire right behind him. <laughs> 